Ed, I know it's still early in the AI revolution, but the reality is that every company is going to be competing for the space that you're attacking with AI power play. So if somebody says, great, I want that, I'm going to go to a McKinsey or a big brand name firm. Why should they choose you over one of those brand names? I'm glad you asked this question. Generally, if you're a CIO or a C-level executive, you never get fired for hiring IBM or one of the big companies out there. I think the only reason to consider, and I, I wouldn't say consider Intellibus, I would say look for organizations like ours. And we would find you others, because we can't service everybody. If all Fortune 1000 companies want to work, we can work with two, maybe five, maybe 10. So we would love to help you find other people like us, because that's what we really want to do. We don't necessarily want to work with all the Fortune 1000 companies. We can scale, but you can't scale that fast. <laughs> that would be unreasonable. So I think within reasonable scale, we have the ability in the next couple of years to take on maybe 10 enterprise clients. That's about it. So really, we're going to be rejecting 990 of the Fortune 1000 companies. Hmm. So I think the play is the other way around a little bit. So tell me what it takes to be successful at Intellibus if you're an employee. Who thrives there? I, I think there are two kinds of people that thrive here. One, who are really passionate engineers, who just want to create and build, and they wake up in the morning, they're obsessed with a problem, and, and they really want to solve problems, and that, that's what they do. And the other people that really thrive here are people who, who like to connect and build the network and build the community. So I would say community builders and passionate engineers. That's what we're really made up of. Hmm. And what, where, what kind of places don't they want to work at? Oh, they don't want to work at enterprises, large enterprises that work with us today, not to take any names, large financial institutions that work with us. The reason they work with us is because they're having a hard time hiring someone who's got a competing offer from Google or Facebook or Microsoft or any of those big corporations out there because they have RSUs and Amazon. It's really hard to compete with them because the RSUs just make the pay package 2x. So you can't compete with that. So the promise of Intellibus is the venture arm that we are setting up and we've already invested in a couple of the initial ventures with Parser and Screen and a couple of other ventures. And so the real promise for them is they come here, they work in consulting, they know that the idea here is not to necessarily spend all their life doing power play. It's a way for them to learn the enterprise and tomorrow they're going to build their own startup, whether we fund it or RSC or some other venture funds it, they're going to build their own startup. And when they build their startup, they've got this hard-earned enterprise learning. They're not just right out of college, and then they need adults in the room all the time to be successful. So this is kind of a little bit of growing up and being an adult. So you have engineers who have a bias towards problem solving and who have an entrepreneurial bent. Mm -hmm. And so when they're walking into a company, they have a sense of what they're trying to attack, and they have uh, optimism about figuring out a solution for it. Well, you said it better than me. <laughs> okay, that's why I wanted to, because you once told me that in our intro call, you told mm -hmm. me what you just said. Yeah. I wanted to bring out, okay, so I'll close with this. 